It's a Lucha House Party. Yeah, but we're all invited. Making his way to the ring from San Juan, Puerto Rico, weighing in at 168 pounds, Lince Dorado. Lince Dorado is a master of the scratching post, takes really great naps, but a real force to be reckoned with. What are you trying to say, Corey? He's the Golden Lakes, Byron. One of the most exciting superstars in all of WWE. He once trained with Cesaro and Cassius Ono. So he's not just a cruiserweight, Corey. He's a feline. The premier athlete has arrived. Byron, get ready to count abs. You might need to take your shoes off. Come over here. Come here, I want to show you something. This right here. This is why I'm a premier athlete. Let me show you something else. Let's count it out together. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. That's eight reasons why I'm the premier athlete. Eight reasons why I'm better than each and every one of you. And from Long Island, New York, weighing in at 196 pounds, the WWE Hardcore Champion. Look, I was as pressed as the next guy when it comes to Tony, Tony Nese's Nese. incredible physique, but do you think maybe he's a little too obsessed with his aesthetic appearance? I don't know. If I had an eight pack, I'd show everybody. A man who says he moves like a cruiserweight but hits like a heavyweight. One of the most explosive superstars in the cruiserweight division. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. And this Ouch. is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Down. The Jenoku driver. He's inflicting some serious pain here. going through the arena. The closed fist connects. No, no, Slight right shot out. right across the back of the neck. Ouch. He's not looking like himself here. He may have to start reevaluating his game plan. Wow. He's starting to look a little uneasy to me, Cole, and I can't say that I blame him. He's one wrong move from being put through a table. You see more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. Boom! And he connects with the leg. Oh, I think this man means business. There he goes, crashing to the floor. The spotlight's definitely on these superstars here tonight. Anytime you have the opportunity to compete on a pay-per-view, you can bet the whole WWE Universe will be watching. And it's knees showing some agility. Well done. As Michael was saying earlier, the entire the WWE Universe is undoubtedly watching this match. And while I've never competed on a WWE pay-per-view, I would have to think that it's pretty nerve-wracking. Just the fact that they let you commentate on a WWE pay-per-view is enough, Saxton. I can't imagine actually having to see you compete in the ring. 
He's on the defensive Ouch. now. This very well may be too much for him to handle. The amount of punishment he's absorbed in this match is absolutely oh. insane. A lesser man would have given up and walked away by now. Guys, I wasn't anticipating this type of performance for him tonight. He's starting to look a little lost in there right now. There's been a lot of great moments on pay-per-view over the years. And for me, one of my favorites was watching Kurt Angle's debut match at the 1999 Survivor Series. All my buddies and I gathered around the TV, cheering on our hometown boy, Kurt Angle. Russian leg sweep. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Just stretching and stretching. Back to Kurt Angle's WWE debut. We should note that he defeated Sean Stasiak that night using his patented Angle Slam. And from there, the rest is history. Speaking of history, longtime WWE fans may remember Sean Stasiak's father, Stan Stasiak, who is famous for defeating Pedro Morales for the WWE Championship in December of 1973. Stasiak went on to hold the title for only nine days, though it's nine more days than most competitors will ever hold it. Now that's the type of move that sends a message to an opponent. You gotta think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win and move on. There's no need to keep this thing going longer than necessary. That elbow will leave you dazed. That was impressive. Top of the elbow. Right on the jaw. Good point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute the finisher, you got to take it. Lindsay Dorado may have it. Here it is. Lindsay Dorado with the W. These guys gave everyone their money's worth. Here's another look. Looks like that table shattered into hundreds of little pieces. When you get a one-on-one -on -one match like that, you hate to see one of them come up short. That's just the harsh reality of it. Amazing match, guys. Before we move on, I'd like to remind everybody that we're coming to you live from Phoenix, the site of WrestleMania 26.